In this activity, we're going to make what's called a rotocopter. Uh, it's from the Explorium, uh, which is a science museum in San Francisco. Uh, and I have a link uh, in the description to how do you print this thing out and more information on how to actually do it. So what you're going to need is that printout. Um, you're going to need a scissors and then you're just going to need a few paper clips. So when you just get the printout, you will notice that it's this is the shape of it. Uh, what you're going to do here is wherever there's a straight line here, we're going to cut out the shape first, this rectangle here, because this is just one rotocopter. Um, there's, there's two here just in case one goes wrong. And plus there's a smaller one. Uh, and the nicest thing about this activity is we're going to try out different things and see how that affects um, the rotocopter and how it works. Um, so in this case, when you cut the thing out, we're going to cut out this rectangle uh, and keep it as close to the lines as possible. So now that you have cut out, uh, what you're going to do is wherever you see a solid line, just here between A and B, you're going to cut. And wherever you see, sorry, another solid line above C and above D, here we are going to cut. And wherever you see a dotted line, that's where you're going to bend. So um, I'm going to, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make uh, the cut between uh, A and B. And then a small cut above C, just above C into the middle and a cut just above D into the middle. And uh, what you're going to do now is put the thing down on the table with the writing facing down into the table and then bend A back. So we're going to bend A back like that, turn it around and bend C and B towards you. And then just unfold B for a second. And then you're going to take C and fold it into the middle and then take D and fold that into the middle. So that's going to create the stem of the rotocopter. And then you're going to, uh, so that is what it looks like. Now is you have the two blades of the rotocopter and you have uh, the stem. So we're just going to shorten that up a bit. If you can see, there is a dotted line here that you can see just through the paper. What we're going to do now is fold it up at that point. It doesn't have to be exactly on that point. And then you're going to get a paper clip uh, and just uh, put a paper clip over the end of it. So that is the uh, finished rotocopter. Uh, and what you're going to do is when you drop it, um, it should spin around and we're going to see that uh, outside. So this is the finished rotocopter. As you can see, the two blades on it. Now this is the standard one with just a paper clip at the bottom. And now I'm going to, uh, going to drop it uh, and you should see it spin around as it goes and drops towards the ground. See, it's spinning around. One of the coolest things about it is, is if you take it and put A towards you and B away from you, so just all you're doing is you're um, changing over the two um, rotocopter blades, it'll actually spin in the opposite direction. So it spins in the opposite direction. Uh, the other changes I've made is I've made a different one here, and what I've done is I've shortened the... Um, the blades on the rotocopter and I've just cut them at an angle and see if that makes any difference. What happens if you uh, do it uh, without, <coughs> with shorter blades? You might be able to see that it spins a little faster. I'll try that one more time. It actually spins faster. This is the little micro one that, uh, um, this is just a smaller version of the one that you have and that's actually in the um, a document that I have to print out these little rotocopters and you can see now oh, that didn't work so well we'll try that again I'll go from a little higher okay as you can see from the, our tests outside that the small one didn't work out so well um, I have got this working in the past um, and uh, you might play around with it and see if you can get it to work the other things we didn't try in our outside test is uh, the paper clips um, by changing the amount of paper clips in the bottom, how does that affect the speed um, of the thing, the rotocopter, how as it falls? Uh, so I'm going to leave that leave that for you to test, and you can um, add your findings to the comments of the videos. Just to explain the science behind the rotocopter, what happens is as the ro rotocopter falls, the air comes up and hits the wing uh, or the blade, and comes in and hits this um, little rectangular pad here. So what it does is when the air comes up and hits this side, it pushes on this side and makes it turn a little bit. And when the air comes up on this side, it comes and hits this. So both sides are basically making that tiny little piece of uh, paper turn. And that's why when you put A towards you and B uh, the other direction, um, when the air comes up and hits this, it's going to spin it in the opposite direction. So it's a nice one to talk about forces. 
I hope you enjoyed our video on the rotocopter. Uh, and if you'd like more of these simple science activities, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button at the bottom of the screen. Thank you.